Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> channel. Thank you all so much for the love on my last femininity video, Tips to Exude Femininity. I am so excited that y'all loved it so much, but I also noticed I got a lot of questions about how to actually just be a feminine woman and exude femininity from the outward appearance perspective. So I'm going to get into the specifics on that topic in today's video, and I hope you'll stick around. So when I think about outward femininity, I feel like it's such a great method of self-expression and also of self-discovery. The way that I present myself as a feminine woman now is different from the way I did 10 years ago, five years ago, or honestly, even one year ago. Femininity is something for you that you can continually change and evolve and grow more into yourself over time, especially if you're seeking to become the best version of yourself. And part of that is a femininity journey. Yes, the outward appearance is very important and it is a piece of the puzzle but y'all know I am always like listen you've got to look inward focus on internal growth and that is going to shine outward as well so we're going to be combining some tips for internal things and outward things as well to kind of bring the whole femininity package into one beautiful portrait so I feel like if you're focused on embracing your outward femininity, it's also important for you to focus on embracing yourself. You can't be the best version of yourself and this great feminine woman if you aren't really truly happy inside and just a kind and genuinely loving person. So focus on that first. And remember, femininity is not limited to any particular appearance. I feel like there's always a new trend or style going around and they're always fun to kind of play around with, but never think that that's the end all be all. And if you wanna be a feminine woman, you have to look and dress this certain way. You wanna focus on being authentic and also being comfortable in your own skin. We're gonna talk about confidence a little bit later and especially in relation to how you interact and treat other people as a feminine woman. So in today's video, I decided to focus on different categories that lend themselves to being a feminine woman from outward appearance, but please don't forget the importance of being truly feminine and kind inward as well. And remember, while I'm sharing these things, a lot of them are my personal opinion and what has worked best for me. So adjust it, tweak things to actually fit you and who you are on your journey to becoming the best version of yourself. Femininity is such a great opportunity to have a unique expression and share with others who you are from the inside out. So let's get into some fun femininity facts for a few different categories regarding your outward appearance. First up, we're gonna start off with style. You have to embrace your personal style. So whether that's bold, vibrant, sophisticated, simplistic, super girly, whatever you like, is what you should be wearing. Now, the only rule that I have with outward femininity and the style category is making sure that you look polished. You never wanna look like you just threw something on, like you just rolled out of bed. You wanna put your best foot forward at all times. Now remember, there is no right or wrong way to look feminine. I think often when I hear the word femininity, I think 
bright colors like pink, orange, yellow, purple, whites, and then I also think of dresses and skirts. Now while those things can be feminine if that's your personal style, like I love a dress, not necessarily because I think it looks the most feminine or girly, but honestly because it's so comfortable and it's so easy for me to put on and wear for a full day. I don't have to worry about like combining pieces, making sure everything matches. One piece, super simple, I'm out the door. However, even though I love dresses and they happen to be feminine, that doesn't mean that that is the only option. I even feel like the outfit I have on today, which is this bodysuit and these are pants, is still really feminine. Even though it's a pant outfit, it still helps me to look really polished and present myself in a really great way. So the biggest key to making sure that you can style yourself in a feminine way is to plan your outfits ahead of time. And I know for a lot of people, it can be like, I have no clue what to wear. But honestly, there are so many different resources available to you, so take advantage of them. Pinterest is the go-to girl for how to dress in any aesthetic, anything you wanna try. They have great inspiration and great ideas. Also something that you can do is to follow affordable fashion bloggers here on YouTube or on Instagram, TikTok, social media. They will literally link every single thing in their outfit. So if you see it, you like it, they're like, here's the link to buy it and you can replicate that outfit for yourself. A lot of times too, they'll find like higher end items and find them at better price points so that you're not breaking the bank trying to create this like feminine aesthetic or this feminine style but you can still play around with different styles and outfits and just have fun with dressing yourself up also a really important key to being polished or feminine as far as style goes is just making sure that your clothes look really really nice a really great point that i mentioned in a video that i posted about a month ago stay ready so you don't have to get ready was about making sure that your clothes are always clean no stains and then also making sure you're ironing or steaming them and just preparing them in advance sundays are a great time to reset pull out all the clothes that you wanna wear for the week, check them, make sure there's no holes, rips, stains, and then also iron them, steam them, whatever you need to do, and hang them up so you can easily get dressed every morning. You don't even have to think about what you're gonna wear because you are already prepared and you've planned ahead. And also it does not have to be super complicated. Look for simple ways to elevate your style. One of the things that I love to do is always just throw some type of additional layer on top of what I'm wearing. So I will wear a super basic dress, but I'll put like a long duster over it or a blazer to kind of just elevate the look a little bit and take it to that next level without it having to be extremely difficult. So find your style, express it in a way that works for you and try different aesthetics. You don't have to stick to one thing. Sometimes I feel like being sporty. Sometimes I feel like being cute and girly. Sometimes I wanna do like a quiet luxury look. Whatever you wanna try out, give it a try and find your style and your vibe throughout that process and have fun doing it. Style should be fun. Being feminine should be fun. So enjoy the process. Now let's get into the makeup. A lot of times with femininity, again, it is connected with a woman who wears makeup. Now. Again, not every single person has to wear makeup and you do not have to wear makeup to feel beautiful. But when I want to elevate my look or if I'm gonna be filming or doing something special or going out to celebrate something, I wanna look a bit nicer than I typically do on a regular basis and so I wear makeup. Now, with that, you do not have to be an expert and you don't have to wear a full face or a ton of heavy makeup in order to be a feminine woman. I like to think of people like Hailey Bieber, Alicia Keys, Jennifer Lopez all of these are beautiful women but they don't really wear that much makeup if you pay attention to how they look in photos and kind of like in their social media and things that they share on a regular basis they focused on skincare so creating a really good skincare routine that's curated for you that works for you that keeps your skin as clear and texture free as possible is really the best key because then you won't really even need a ton of different things like foundation and concealer and just continue to pile on and you can do a super simple, quick five minute face every single day. I always say if you've got brows, a good lip, and a good concealer, you can go a long way. And just make sure that you've elevated your look just a smidge for the day. And if you have a little bit of extra time, add a little blush to your face and you're pretty much done. It does not have to be extremely complicated, but you can still look like, wow, like I look refreshed. I look like I put forth a little bit of extra effort. So I've kind of just like elevated my everyday routine. Remember, it does not take a ton of effort. I feel like a lot of women get a little bit more timid to 
lean into the world of femininity because they think it's going to take a lot of extra time or it's going to take a lot of extra monetary expense but it does not have to like there are so many good drugstore brands for makeup products that will last you about a year or so a really good amount of time you can spend 15 20 bucks and have a good routine that you can use for six months to a year so you don't have to kind of break the bank or invest a ton of money on makeup or like get your makeup done or anything like that simple easy focus on your skincare add a few things to elevate your look and you'll be looking polished and feminine at all times next up let's go ahead and jump into confidence so confidence plays an extremely pivotal role in expressing your femininity as a confident woman you should be able to walk into a room with a presence every single time and a big piece that lends to this is your posture I didn't even realize since I've been working from home how much my posture has kind of declined I was at the chiropractor and she's like hey can you sit up straight or like sit up straight like she keeps reminding me and I'm like am I not sitting up straight it was something that I hadn't even paid attention to so Every day, try to be cognizant of your posture, how you're sitting, how you're standing, because that represents you as a confident feminine woman. Another, another big piece of presenting myself in a confident way was definitely what I do with my arms and my hands. I found that I would often stand like this, not necessarily if it was an uncomfortable situation, it just kind of became a habit. But if my arms are always folded, I'm very closed off, it's not very warm or inviting. So I try to make sure that I focus on opening up. Something that helps me is like, I still wanna have like a little safety piece is I'll just clasp my hands together and hold them down a little bit lower or hold them up here. So I still am like, okay, let me connect and ground with myself, but also I'm still presenting myself in a really confident manner. And this next thing about outward femininity related to confidence is so, so important. And that is how you treat and interact with other women. A confident woman does not have to put anyone else down or compare herself to other people or try to make other people feel bad so that she can feel better. A confident woman knows that she has amazing skills and abilities and assets and she's beautiful in her own unique way and that every other woman she encounters has the exact same. There's no need to compare, there's no need to be rude or to make like subtle digs at someone just to try to lift yourself up. That is not going to build your confidence. That is not going to be a sustaining confidence hack or tactic that you wanna use. Really work on yourself, love yourself, get to know yourself, go on a journey of self-discovery and growth and then you can realize like, wow, the women that I see or the women that are around me are also people who are supporting me and who I can support. We've built this amazing community and we can be there for each other and cheer each other on and celebrate each other's successes without having any type of jealousy or envy because I love myself, I'm a confident person, and I want what's best for everyone. That is such an important key to femininity, especially outwardly, because you may think that people can't tell that you're trying to be shady or that you have an issue with your confidence because of how you treat others, but it is definitely obvious, and you just don't want to come across in that way, especially if that's not who you are deep down to your core. Do your best to build that confidence within yourself, and it's going to come across outwardly as well. Now, the next category is hygiene. A feminine woman, like there are no negotiations in this area. You have to be a clean and fresh and well-kept woman. Taking care of your physical well-being is definitely going to help you radiate that femininity in your outward appearance. So I know sometimes, especially like if you're not feeling your best or you're feeling low or having a really sad moment, it can be difficult to kind of pull yourself out of that place. But a really important helpful step is just to make sure that you are clean. You are clean on your body, your surroundings are clean. And remember that there are simple little things that can help you with motivation to really stay on top of your hygiene. So even like getting a new body wash can be something that's really exciting. I personally just love having like an aesthetic countertop with like, the little cotton swabs to clean my ears, the floss picks, like everything matches. And I'm like, this is part of my daily routine. It's super aesthetic to look at. Like I'm excited to use all the different products to make sure that I am taking care of my hygiene. If you're like, I don't even know where to start on hygiene or like what would be needed to have a feminine hygiene routine. I've created a video on that topic and I'll link it above in the cards. And also you're on YouTube. It's the perfect place. There are a ton of different hygiene routines that different YouTubers have shared that can help you just make sure that you are staying clean and fresh at all times and presenting yourself as a feminine woman. 
But a few things to like just keep in mind as you're starting this process is first, you gotta have a clean body, but also make sure that you're moisturizing and exfoliating, wearing your deodorant, keeping your hair clean, keeping your clothes clean, and also playing around with fragrances. I love perfumes. I have another video, I'll link that up here as well, um, about my perfume collection, which I probably need to update because I found some really new great ones. And I'm not saying use perfume to mask that you are not clean. <laughs> like go through the process of cleansing and moisturizing your body and add perfume as a layer on top to again level up and exude even more femininity. And the last category that I'm going to cover in today's video focused on exuding femininity outwardly is your knowledge. I feel like especially before, honestly not even that long ago, um, girls or women were kind of seen as like silly or ditzy or dumb, like we're not really supposed to know a lot of things, but a feminine woman has knowledge and she's not afraid to share that with others. You need to know things. I always say there is no reason why you should not know something. You can literally ask Alexa a question and she's gonna give you a whole list of answers. You can go on chat GPT, type in a question, again, you get a whole list of answers. There are too many resources. There is Google. So there is no reason why you should not have access to knowledge and actually take advantage of that so that you can learn more and continue to evolve and grow intellectually. So do fun research projects read different books, get different workbooks that can be helpful for you, listen to podcasts that are inspiring or informative and uplifting, and build your knowledge and continue to build your knowledge over time as you grow and develop. A feminine woman is able to have intelligent and engaging conversations. She doesn't just walk into a room and shrink down into a shell of a person or a low vibrational version of herself. She walks in with confidence, she speaks to everyone, she is genuinely kind and interested in what they have to say, but she also has some really great information to be able to share and she can engage in a really great conversation. As a feminine woman, it's so important to have things going for yourself. You need to have goals and hobbies and aspirations in life and things that you are interested in, learning about new cultures and continuing to expand who you are. These things are so necessary just for personal growth and development in general for everyone, but especially as a feminine woman, expanding your knowledge, learning, continuing to grow is such a beautiful thing and a journey that you should definitely invest time in. So as we're wrapping up this video, I really just wanna reiterate Femininity and expressing that outwardly is a beautiful personal journey and you should enjoy it. You can empower yourself and learn how to exude and showcase different pieces of you that are unique and that make you special and that make you feel really great about yourself. And don't think of outward femininity as an aesthetic or a really difficult thing that you are trying to seek to achieve. Remember that outward femininity is a celebration of who you are and your authenticity and everything wonderful that you can contribute to others. It's about celebrating your uniqueness and your diversity and the amazing person that you are inwardly that is shining outwardly because you feel great about yourself and that's how you want to present yourself to everyone else. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that this is helpful for you on your femininity journey. Outward femininity is so much fun. Style, makeup, perfumes, like all of those fun things. Embrace them, enjoy them, celebrate them, and celebrate yourself. If you're new to the family, please subscribe, join the community. If you have been here a while, thank you so much for watching this video and for sticking around. Drop a comment below about how you would like to exude more femininity, or if you're like, yeah, I'm already doing a few things, this is what has worked for me. Please share that in the comments below as well so that we can all continue to uplift and encourage each other on our femininity journeys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Affirmations with Amber.